Guys, one potential question you might see in um, um, perineum anatomy is actually the question of uh, you differentiating between female and male urethra. Okay? Uh, differentiation between the female and male urethra is a potential question you can come across in any perineum anatomy examination. So the question we are answering today is how does the female urethra differ from the male urethra? Okay, so from here you could see this is a male urethra and this is, okay, sorry, this is a male specimen, this is a female specimen and the urethra is actually this long line here we are talking about okay why in the females is just like a short uh, thing okay okay so from here from looking at this you could see that now uh, the male urethra is longer uh the female urethra is shorter okay so many things uh, you could talk about the parts of the urethra but though they are not labeled here okay but the male urethra has a prostatic part the membranous part and the penile part. All right, why the female urethra just have only the membranous parts? Okay, then different things. All right, so let's go into the lecture and see what the lecture has for us. So the male urethra. Let's talk about the male urethra right now. We we'll finish. We talk about the female urethra. Make sure you follow up, okay? Because when we are done talking about the two urethras, by then you should know the differences between them. So what is the meaning or the definition of the male urethra? Uh, the male urethra serves as a canal through which <coughs> urine and semen pass in men, while in females it's only urine. You know the difference as the first difference, okay? So now you can see that um, in males, if you want to ejaculate, sperm is coming through the urethra. If you want to ease yourself, the urine is coming through the urethra too, okay? So now what are the parts of the male urethra? Here we say that we have four main parts of the urethra, but um, in many other um, contexts, you could see that there's only three parts mentioned, okay? But I see same sense in this, okay? The pre-prostatic urethra, it runs in front of the prostate, okay? Right? It runs in front of the prostate, all right? That's the prostate gland. How about the prostatic urethra? It passes through the post-prostate gland. Okay, it passes through the prostate gland. Then how about the membranous urethra? Uh, membranous urethra is located in the pelvic floor. All right, membranous urethra it should be around the side. Okay, it's located in the pelvic floor. All right, this is the pelvic floor. Then you know the urethra in the penis is actually what we call the penile urethra. Okay, that's the penile urethra. It extends through the penis. Extends through the penis right so this is it uh this is a uh, membranous urethra you could see it here uh you see the prostate gland all right surrounding this part of urethra and it's what we call uh the prost uh, prostatic part of the urethra okay so i don't really see that place that they are saying uh pre prostatic okay i don't really see okay we say that this part of urethra actually runs out of the prostate gland okay you can mention three parts you can mention four parts is the same thing okay then you can see this part of the urethra that is inside the penis is actually what we call the penile urethra okay then um okay still talking about the male urethra we say that the male urethra is part of both reproductive system as in ejaculation and also part of your ur urinary system, okay, as in you urinating. Then the length of the urethra, of course, you know that it has three parts. It's long. It is approximately 20 centimeters long. Then the diameter of the urethra uh, has an open diameter of about eight to nine millimeter. Sphincter control. It regulates the movement of urine and semen. Parts, it tends to be curvy, all right? Catheterization. Catheterization can be difficult because of its curving nature, not only the curving nature because of its length. Okay? Then how about bacterial infections? It's less common because it is too long. Okay? All right, then nerves. Uh, contains both sympathetic and parasympathetic and visceral afferent nerves. All right? 
So this is it on um, Uretra. Okay, this is a Uretra. Okay, this is a male Uretra. All right, this is a prostatic Uretra. All right, uh, membranous Uretra too. Then the long one is a penile Uretra. Right. And now, um, narrowing our stops to talk about the female urethra, we say that, um, what is the meaning? Uh, the female urethra is a canal through which urine passes from the bladder to the outside of a woman's body. All right. So now in the women, uh, the urethra only serves the function of urinating. Okay. Uh, what is the length of the urethra? We say that um, generally shorter than that of men. Okay. And it's just four centimeters that of men is, uh, is like 20 centimeters four into 20 is five the urethra of men is five times as long as that of women okay how about the diameter the diameter is, uh, diameter is about six millimeters okay openings it opens between the clitoris and the vagina it uh, belongs to the female uh, the female urethra is just part of the urinary system alone okay bacterial infection is quite common because the urethra is short. So any infection can just move into the body, okay? Passing of uh, kidney stones is less affected by kidney stones because I think it is wider and shorter, okay? Paths, it tends to be straight, unlike that of males that is curvy, all right? Catheterization is easy because the urethra is short. Significance, uh, primarily for the passage of urine. So now in summary, the male urethra handles both urine and semen. The female urethra is primarily just for urine passage. Now, understanding these differences help us to appreciate the intricacies of male and female anatomy. Okay? So that's it about the, the differences between male and female urethra. Alright? So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.